Hey, so today's the end of my second day working with Hapka and it's been really interesting so far. Everyone I work with is really nice and it's awesome getting to know them and I'm really looking forward to getting to know them better over the next couple of weeks. There's three cetacean experts and one turtle expert. Here they are. This is everyone I work with. The light's off so you can't see them very well. This is Marina and this is Mada and this is Amina and this is Amina. And we all live together, which is great. Uh, there's four of us in one flat and um, Shell, who wasn't in the video there, uh, is in across the hall with Amina. I've been doing some of Amina's photo identification work in the office because she's decided to rename her entire catalogue of dolphins. So I need to go through and cross check and change the name of all the files. This is what happened yesterday. I have to warn you that this video does contain footage of a dead turtle, so if you're kind of squeamish or don't really want to see that, then look away now. About 15 minutes ago, Amina got a call uh, about a dead turtle on a beach, so we're going to go and check it out. Um, driving in Egypt is like a massive free-for-all, uh, but our driver's doing a pretty good job of not killing us. While doing an examination, Amina discovered that it had been dead for a while because it was really bloated. It wasn't showing any obvious signs of infection and there was no point in doing an autopsy on it, so we put it in a bag and took it to the dump. This morning, Shell and I went in into a club meeting that's happening here in Agata and she gave them a little talk all about HEPCA and the work that they do. As a coral, the coral breaks. And the diving industry was basically destroying their own working field. The Interrogary Club liked to cheer a lot. <laughs> Hepka has recently taken over the entire solid waste management of Hagata, which is a pretty big task, to be honest. Shell and I and some other Hepka volunteers and the people from the Interrotary Club went to a place about 10 minutes down the road from here. We cleaned up the streets and left some black bins in the hope that they would then use the bins, obviously. We picked up litter and we swept the rubbles into piles. The local children came out to see what was going on and some of them even gave us, well, a bit of a hand. <laughs> To make sure that everyone knew how you used the bins properly, Shell handed out information booklets, which the children loved. I gotta go now because Mada had some great news today in the fact that she's just managed to secure a small grant for her conservation work, so we're all gonna go out for dinner and celebrate. Right, bye!